Our story takes place in a nice, cozy little farmyard. The characters, in order of their appearance, are Cocky Locky, Head Man, Chicken Inspector, Supervisor of Egg Production. A good guy to know nowadays. This is Henny Penny and the local rocking chair brigade. Always ready to poke their beaks into everybody's business instead of sticking to their knitting. Here we have them at the bridge table. Who are they pecking to pieces now? Let's listen in. Mm. Sound just like people, don't they? Now we see them at Madame Poulette's beauty coop, getting the popular red henna rinse. This is Turkey Lurkey and the smart set, who spend all day discussing what is wrong with the world. There's this element, too, the jitterbirds, a pretty feather brain crowd. Goosey Pussy and Ducky Lucky and all the other gay ducks. A thirsty lot, always around where there's something to drink. Now, last but not least, here is Chicken Little, Playboy and Yo-Yo Champ. A little shy on brains, but uh, a good egg as chickens go. As our story continues, we find all our fine feathered friends happy and contented. And why not? Didn't they have a big, strong fence protecting them? But wait a minute. What's this? Aha! It's Foxy Loxy, the poultry fancier. Looks like he's taken an interest in our little community. A culinary interest. So why doesn't he just jump in and help himself? Do you suppose it's because of the high fence? Or the locks on the inside? Or the farmer's uh, shotgun? Ah, but I'm not a fox for nothing. Besides, there's more than one way to pluck a chicken. Psychology. Why should I just get one when I can get them all? Quote, to influence the masses, aim first at the least intelligent. Unquote. Now let's see. Who looks nice and stupid? Tucky Lucky? Turkey Lucky? Ducky Lucky? Goosey Pussy? Henny Penny? Chicken Little. Uh, he looks nice and stupid. Quote, if you tell him a lie, don't tell a little one. Tell a big one. Unquote. This is the voice of doom speaking. Special bullet, flash, the sky is falling. A piece of it just hit you on the head. Now be calm, don't get panicky. Run for your life! The sky is falling, the sky, the sky is falling. A piece of it just hit me on the head. <laughs> The sky is falling! Hurry, hurry! Run, everybody! The sky is falling! The sky! The sky is falling! There you are, you see? Just like I told you. Hit me on the head. Sure enough? Oh, my goodness. How awful. What'll we do? We'll all be killed. 
<clears throat> now look here, look here. What's all the fuss and feathers? This is, something awful has happened. A, a piece of the sky fell down and hit me on the head. A piece of the sky? <laughs> Nonsense, it's just a hunk of wood. <laughs> Guess that's the end of your stew, Mr. Foxy Loxy. All right now, folks, break it up. Back to business as usual. Oh, wise guy, huh? Eh? I'll fix him. Now, let's see now. Ah, here we are. Quote, undermine the faith of the masses and their leaders. Unquote. Well, I suppose Cocky Locky knows what he's talking about. Well, yes. He ought to know. Ahem. But listen, girls. Suppose he's wrong. He's only human, you know. And if he should happen to be wrong, we'd all be killed. <laughs> Now, in my opinion, uh, Kaki Laki shows definite totalitarian tendencies. He's trying to dictate to us. We can judge for ourselves whether the sky is falling or not. <laughs> hey, fellas, I hear old Kaki Laki's been hitting a mash lately. <laughs> hey, he's full of corn. His brain is pickled. <laughs> uh oh, there it goes the whispering campaign. <laughs> Sister, you hear about Cocky Lucky? He ain't got all his marbles. Ain't it awful? <gasps> oh, definitely, my dear. Whoa! What a wolf! Did you hear? Cocky Lucky is wallowing in corn. I bet he's quite a chicken chaser. <gasps> no, you don't say so. <laughs> There's no foul like an old foul. He's not the cock of the walk anymore. What? <laughs> not the cock of the walk anymore. Quote, by the use of flattery, Insignificant people can be made to look upon themselves as born leaders, unquote. Now's your chance, kid. They listen to you now. You were born to be a leader. Go to it. Listen to me, everybody. I'm your new leader. I'm going to save your lives. I'm going to tell you what to do. Don't listen to that pipsqueak. The sky isn't falling. I tell you, this too falling. And I tell you, it isn't. This too. All right. If the sky is falling, why doesn't it hit me on the head? Chicken Little's right. What'll we do? Oh, Chicken Little, you've got to help us. Psst. Run to the cave. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it, to the cave. To the cave. Out the gate. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Served. Don't worry, folks. This all turns out all right. Mmm. Delicious. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't right. That's not the way it ends in my book. Oh, yeah? Don't believe everything you'll read, brother.